it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the full moon reading so this is the full moon reading for August 3rd we're just gonna see what comes up I'm gonna use a couple different decks or a few different decks and we're just gonna see what kind of message I have for you for this full moon keep in mind that not every reading is for you let's just see what comes up so the first thing I saw was the Knight of Wands reversed. So that's moving way too fast, moving fast, moving very, very fast without thinking. Somebody, this is out of control. There could be, you know, uh, the Knight of Wands reversed. There could be uh, a show off, somebody that is boasting. They're showing off. They're, you know, they, they think that they're invincible or whatnot. And, you know, things get... It's reckless behavior, put it that way. There's reckless, somebody acting recklessly. Now the Knight of Wands reversed is overly competitive. It feels like almost like it's racing or that kind of thing. Uh, Knight of Wands reverse, out of control, losing control, not in control. Um, mm, now this is a chair, could have something to do with a vehicle, could have something to do with a car. Okay, we could have some sort of issues with a vehicle, so maybe somebody's moving too fast. This is a chariot. The chariot does, you know, typically move fast. And not always, but it's moving. Okay, there's some sort of, maybe this has something to do with a car, I don't know. But anyway, the chariot is also about mastering emotions. It's getting in the driver's seat. It's being in charge. And it is about mastering emotions and de being determined, being in control. Now, I saw the Knight of Wands reverse. That's out of control. You will need to master your emotions and remain in control. You have the power. You have the steering wheel. You get to choose. So make sure that you are steering yourself in the right direction, you know, and you're not speeding, okay? Just, I, I wouldn't be speeding if I was you and somebody needs to hear that message. We're going gonna, gonna to go ahead and get one of these. Now, that is victory. It says triumph, but the chariot leads to victory should you remain in control. Now, this is the chariot is somebody that, that takes action and is very strong, is ready to move forward. So this is taking a journey of some sort. There's a journey. This is a card of transformation as well. So it's a time of transformation. It's a time of determination and being in control. One card, please. The sun. The sun could be dealing with a cancer, could be dealing with a Leo. The sun is a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. It's um, a new day. So that's beautiful. And this is beautiful. This is warmth. It's happiness. It's enlightenment. Um, somebody is headed towards happiness. Okay, because this is headed. It is headed. Okay, somebody is headed very fast towards happiness. This is a very positive energy. Okay. Um, so this is a new beginning. It is a new day. It is a breakthrough. This is a yes answer. This is happiness. This is a warm place. This is being accepted. Going after happiness. It's also, both of these cards are, resemble freedom. So there's some sort of freedom here. Let's get one more card. Now this is a new beginning. It's a very positive new beginning. That leads to victory. So should somebody... Uh, be in control, like be determined, okay, because this is strong determination right here. Um, and this is moving very, very fast towards happiness, and this is enlightenment and vibrating at a very high level. Now, I don't typically use these cards for a full moon reading, but for some reason, I am. So what do we have? What do we have? One card, please. New love. 
a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there's there's a new love connection here. And it's blossoming because this is blossoming and this is growth. So there's a new love connection here that is blossoming or it's growing. If you are already in a relationship, you know, hey, things could be getting better. Uh, something is going on. Um, either way, there's an opportunity for love here and it's it's beautiful. Okay, it is beautiful. That's all there is to it. Let's this is a, this is definitely a breakthrough. And it does lead to victory and success, but this person takes charge. And they are not wasting any time. This is somebody that is making a very big effort. Okay, this person is making an effort to take control of their happiness. And maybe they're doing that because a person has stirred their feelings. So we're going to get a couple of these. I don't, what do we have? Elephant. Oh, but this is a journey as well. Elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Makes sense. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. But this is freedom. It is. This is a transformation and this is transformation. Things are about to transform. Fly. Ooh. A period of ill health. In depression. So there's a period of ill health. Physical or mental journey that will leave you wiser at the end. So somebody is probably moving away from this ill health. That something has tied them down. It has made them very frustrated. But things are about to get better because this is a very good health. This is finding the determination, the willpower, and the discipline. Hmm. Anyhow, this is a journey that leaves somebody wiser at the end, so whatever. Um... There's been a period of depression and ill health. But this is uh, taking control of it. Taking control of that ill health. This, this poor health, and even if it's mental, because it's physical or mental health. It says physical or mental. Somebody is finding their ability within to deal with it on a po in a positive way. And maybe they're doing it because they have a new person that has stirred their feelings. They've been tied down by whatever this is. Whether it's physical or mental, they've been tied down by it. Anyhow, let's get, let's get some of these. What do we have? Six of Wands. Two of Swords. This is restriction. Somebody's been re protecting themselves, blocking. But this is this is done playing games. Done with the battle. Four of Cups reverse, seizing a new opportunity. This is a new opportunity for love that somebody is taking. Somebody is interested. They are interested in a love. They are interested in, in a love opportunity that they were blocking. They were protecting themselves from. They're done playing games. They're done with the competition. Mm. Two cups. They are. This is a. This is a union of some sort. This is a. This is. This is somebody that is coming in. This is somebody that is that is out for the win. This is a winner, okay? And this is a winner as well. So we have somebody here that's, that is a fighter. This is somebody who has 
has a lot of experience behind their back and is a winner. This is this is a this is somebody that doesn't give up easily, you know. They are this person, whoever this person is, they are looking for a partnership, but they've been because we have these twos here, twos are partnerships, but they were blocking their emotions, they were protecting themselves, they were avoiding it. They were, they may have been uh, focused on somebody else in the past, they weren't quite interested, they didn't know what they want, they were kind of interested, but they weren't that interested. But now they are because this is it's reversed. The four of cups reverse. Somebody was really thinking about, you know, what happened in the past. They were thinking about the third party or, you know, the parting of ways with whoever they parted with. That's what they were thinking about. But now they're seeing that opportunity. So somebody is really, really, you know, they've been thinking about it for a long time, but they weren't taking it. Now they're going to take it. It's like, you know, now they're going to, they are, now they're taking it. It's like they want it now. They blocked their emotions for a while, though. They're, they're, hmm. But Ace of Pentacles reverse, that is a loss. That's a huge loss. They're, somebody's inability to see a golden opportunity may have caused it to slip away. Because when it's reversed, it slips away because somebody had been wearing a mask. They weren't seeing. They weren't taking it. Somebody wasn't taking an opportunity and it may have slipped away. Now, this is a big, huge loss. It's the big, huge loss of a, of a partnership. Eight of pentacles now somebody's gonna be putting in effort whereas they weren't putting in effort before they were not they didn't put in effort they didn't see the opportunity they didn't see the golden opportunity or they just didn't take it when they had it this individual um looks like this person is is something to do with plans following directions putting in a lot of effort to get it right somebody's going to be putting in a lot of effort but they didn't put in effort before ooh page of swords reverse now This is a conflict of some sort. The Page of Swords reversed. There's difficulty in communication. Somebody, you know, um, may have a disability with communicating. You know, a communication disability. You know, doesn't communicate well. Maybe shy. Or just doesn't know how to communicate. There's lack of communication skills here. There's There could be some worry, too. This could also be bad news that is coming. This is this could be bad news of some sort for somebody because this is a huge loss and this is this is bad news. This is a message that you know somebody may not want to hear and you know but this is this the, around this new moon there's there's more than one message so keep that in mind there is some sort of news that is coming that it may uh not be good news put it that way and it may have to do with a huge loss this is denial okay this is this is this is some sort of denial uh sitting on the fence having a hard time blocked emotions uh, protecting oneself, being torn, two of swords, torn between two people. Somebody wasn't taking an offer or love or they weren't putting in effort because they were torn. They were torn. Um, but this is done. Done playing games. Done. The battle is over. The competition is over. You know, this is victory after sorrow. The sorrow is done. Done. Looking for a partnership. 
goodness, the hero font reversed. Now, this is no faith. We have somebody here that has no faith in commitment. They may not believe. They don't believe. They don't listen to their gut. This person may not be very spiritual. Um, they may be disgraced from a previous commitment, you know, or a previous marriage. Now, that hair font reversed is under a lot of social pressure. We have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. And perhaps they focus a lot on their job and, you know, they missed an opportunity. There's been a missed opportunity for love here. There could be fear of commitment, because this could be fear. There could be fear of commitment. Anyhow, this is bad news. There's, there's some sort of bad news. This is somebody that is disgraced, okay? The hero font reversed. This is some. This is poor counsel. This is definitely something that somebody may have received some poor counsel from somebody, which may have caused them to lose an opportunity. Because of this Four of Cups reverse, the Ace of Pentacles reverse, and the Tarot Font reverse, this is poor counsel. This is bad guidance. Okay, somebody gave somebody some bad advice, which caused a loss, of a huge loss. And this whoever had the loss couldn't see. They couldn't see. They couldn't. But now... This battle is over because that's the battle is over. Some of this is a union. Interesting. The magician reversed. There's definitely been some sort of manipulation, or there's gonna be. There's manipulation here. We have a liar. We have a we have a master manipulator, a liar, a trickster, somebody that is very sneaky, very cunning, that had their own agenda. Somebody had their own agenda. We definitely somebody had their own agenda and they were hiding something inability to see the truth somebody was hiding something for sure may have something to do with money somebody was hiding something or they are hiding something but this is a truth teller right here somebody may be telling the truth they may be revealing the truth and this is reading something that you know, there's no words once once it's read. So somebody may be uh, read something that um, is very shocking, or they may read something that really upsets them because this is an upset. This is reading of some sort of paperwork. There's going to be a reading of some sort of paperwork that makes somebody upset. There's there's some serious manipulation here, lies, deceit. Uh, not good put it that way somebody deceived a partner as an, I know I'm changing the story but I just have to I have to let you know anyway this is um, lack of awareness it is and this one is too we have somebody here that is totally unaware they are totally unaware that they are getting bad advice or that they that they were taken advantage of by somebody. Unbelievable. Anyhow, and, and maybe this is, I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. It is. Or a mate or something like that. Ooh. Ooh, the Queen of Wands reversed. This is somebody that is very selfish, very, very uh, forceful, manipulative. You have a master manipulator here, a liar. A liar. Oh, my God. This person isn't very spiritual at all. This person isn't spiritual. They have tricks up their sleeve. Somebody that is self-righteous. We have a self-righteous individual that is very controlling. And there's and there's a poor health. There is definitely some poor health here. Very unhealthy. 
Very revengeful. We have a revengeful liar here. That has some tricks up their sleeve. I think this person... I feel like this person... Something is going to be revealed about this person. Somebody is going to read something. And it's going to be a surprise. They were ignoring the truth. They were not trying not to see the truth, but there's no choice but to see the truth. Oh. Somebody was in a commitment or they're in a commitment right now with an individual. Or they were, they were, or they're in the per, in the commitment now with an individual that is uh, lying. Okay, this person is lying. They are not telling the truth. <laughs> Same thing. This person is revengeful. They have some sort of ulterior motive. They and it has to do with money because the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is below. It has to do with money. We have an individual here that is, is only interested in themselves. Very self-centered. Very self-righteous. Very manipulative. Very skilled at manipulation. Put it that way. And whoever they've been dealing with or they were dealing with just couldn't see it. They could not see it. But this is recognition. It is. This is some sort of recognition. And it is seeing something with the Four of Cups reverse, reading something. Somebody is going to see something on a piece of paper that really probably makes them upset about this person. They're going to read something that really makes them upset. The Page of Swords reversed. And I think there's going to be no words. There's this. There's no sort sort of words that be, can can be said. I feel like we have somebody here that may have some mental health issues. And I and I'm sorry to say that, but it feels like that's what we have. But they hide it very, very, very well. This person is a liar. And I think that whoever this person is, that is the liar, is going to be caught off guard. They're going to be caught off guard. What the hell is going on here? Death. And the Queen of Swords reversed. Now this is somebody that doesn't care about the feelings. This is all about speaking up. Okay, the Queen of Swords in reverse is an individual that has something to say. And uh, she doesn't care what anybody thinks. Okay. And the Death card is an ending. Okay. It's an ending. So the Queen of Swords is somebody that um, was not somebody to mess with. Absolutely not. Um, she is nasty. She is vicious. Absolutely vicious. She doesn't care about your feelings. Okay? She don't care about your feelings. She has something to say. And I think that this one has some sort of information that is going to cause an ending. Because a death is a death. A death is a profound change. It causes an ending of something. Um... This woman is very, very, very brash. She is hard to deal with. Now, the Queen of Swords could be a stepmother, an ex. 
um, a mother-in-law, you know, somebody that is wicked in reverse. This is somebody that is wicked. It's it's a wicked person. It's a wicked energy. It's a person, you know, it's a wicked witch or whatever. This is an individual that isn't very liked. Not very many people like this person. There's an ending. This person is going to be experiencing an ending in their life. There's going to be a change or some sort of change. King of Swords, this is a decision maker. There's going to be a serious conversation. Somebody is going to be making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Somebody's going to be, cho be, cho be choosing between two people as well because we have these two queens here. So we have one individual that's going to be choosing between two. Twos are choices. There's a choice between two here. Two, two. This is the decision maker. We have two queens. I'm telling you what, somebody is making a choice. They are. They are making a choice. And they're making the choice based on the facts. And it's not about the feelings. It's about the truth. And I think that they're getting some information that is very factual. And it's written. It's, in, it's on paper. It's right there. It's all right there. They may have missed the information, because this is missed. The information in the past, it was missed, but you can't. It's not, it's unmistakable now. You know, you can't. It's it is what it is. And this could be somebody headed in very, very, very fast. They're on a mission. So and this is a warrior, a warrior, or a protector. Okay, this is a protector. So I feel like there's a protector coming in, of some sort of protector. Anyhow, and this one is too. So this this is somebody that is in a peer in a period in a place of position that can make a call. This is somebody that makes a judgment call. There could be some upcoming legal matters around this time. Somebody comes in really, really fast and changes everything. Because this is a profound life change. Be prepared for a profound life change. Consider it a blessing. This is definitely a time of transformation and a time of change. You're going to need to master your emotions and remain in control. Everything changes. Remember that. Consider this to be positive because it is a positive change. This is going to break you free. or Somebody's going to be broken free because this is freedom. They're going to be broken free from a period of ill health and depression. Put it that way. And the, and the only thing is, is that they, it's like they haven't been able to do it on their own. It's like they've been lying. We have lies all over in this reading. Somebody's been lying. They've been avoiding the truth. But I feel like it's over. I feel like that I, I do. I feel like it's over. It, it almost feels like the authorities are coming in. For some of you, this is about love. Maybe this breaks you free so that you can, you know, fall in love. Whatever the case is, there is a new love here that could absolutely grow. Once somebody goes through this transformation, because death and the chariot are both cards of transformation, that's a profound life change. So be prepared. Be prepared for some bad news. But this bad news sets you free. Good luck.